I want to say this because I'm seeing it and it's been a week and I have to say it because I'm not the only one who gets so excited. I know there are so many different situations and circumstances that can change it, but everybody, happy Sunday, Oscar here. Look at this picture. When did Bitcoin and most of the other altcoin chain link, Solana, they're really giving a surprise to a lot of people, are pumping? Since when? The 15th of this month, one week ago, seven days ago, everybody. That is an important date because ever since we got the fake news of the approval of, of BlackRock and we got all the way up, then what happened to the price? Kept going. Meaning, there's some truth to that. I believe that was shown, obviously, because Cointelegraph really did a, did a number on us, but that could have already triggered some other different people else in, into investigating, and that's when the reason started pumping, because this change in the price of Bitcoin and in other altcoins, we haven't seen that in, in a while. Look, look, this is the four hours. Like, this is August, and easily Bitcoin could have just continued, could have just continued consolidating in the 27, 28, but not anymore. Now we're here. Let's chat about this one, everybody. What I'm saying in this video, pair. Because I've been holding, I've been buying, and I've been putting my investments in everything. And I mean, we know. Most of the outcomes that we hold, Bitcoin is going to rally. Everybody's going to see it. You're not going to be disappointed. I am not going to be left behind. And all of your purchases at 15,000 Bitcoin, 20,000 Bitcoin, 25,000 Bitcoin, or how about Shiba Inu six zeros, Kronos four, four cents, or XRP, much less than that. It's all going to come true, and it's going to be very special. Here's the deal. This coming week, it's going to make it for us. Not that we're going to go to $60,000, but the key level of resistance I've been sharing for a long time, $32,000 Bitcoin. And even I saw it on, on another big influencer as well, the one who makes the super big faces. I forgot his name but it's on Twitter and YouTube, $32,000. We haven't made a significant move higher to that number since forever. Once Bitcoin crosses that line, we are on our way to pass the actual, the actual, okay, here it is, the bull market, it's starting. I've shared with you in a previous video how bear market is over, accumulation phase, this is the one we're in, the bull market hasn't even started. This is accumulation phase. And I'm going to share, like, I, I'm going to find it once again, because I want everybody to know it's here on Lizards, Stock Money Lizards, that I adore this page, super good. And I have to scroll down a little bit because they post a lot. It's this video. It's this one. And they have the MP4. Once again, check this video carefully. Bear market over. Accumulation is what's happening right here. And the halving of March 2024 is what's going to trigger the bull market. Let's pause it. There you go. So, no, we're not going to see Bitcoin at, at its max level price right now in 2023. Forget about it. It's just not supposed to happen. And I don't want it to happen because it's too early. <laughs> it's too early, guys. When Bitcoin finally crosses that $69,000, which it, it will happen, I think it's dumb enough for me to not consider that situation because obviously it has to occur. There's a lot of implications there. People have the monies on the side to buy, to purchase, to make those transactions, to see digital gold winning. Why? Guys, how close are we from all the Bitcoin spot ETFs getting approved? We already got a movie trailer. 
that took us to 30,000 from 27, just like that. Guess what? We are now at 30,000 without, without this, the Bitcoin spot ETF news. There's about eight applications that Gary Gensler, the commission, SEC, are reviewing. We have CFTC and SEC ongoing lawsuits. There's investigations, Department of Justice, Department of Homeland Security. Like there's so many agencies in the country investigating different crypto cases. FTX, Gemini, Genesis, Binance, CC, SBF, the list goes on. That's not going to be forever. The more we continue in crypto, the higher this trend goes, as you're seeing right now on the screen, the much better, stronger, wiser we become and safer. That's the key, safer. I know so many ways for a thief or a scammer or hacker to get our Bitcoin. I mean, that is for sure. I'm not going to lie to you. Of course, if you don't know what you're doing, you can get, you can lose everything. But the higher you become more experienced and trained and your acumen grows in crypto, you're going to be fantastically well. So this hasn't started and I couldn't be more ready because everything in crypto is going to explode. You, my friend, watching right now. This is going to be insanity. My life, God willing, I'm going to witness a $100,000 Bitcoin. And when I do... I wouldn't want to really get out of this chair because we're going to be live streaming, making so many videos, content, news. There's going to be new content creators. Everybody's going to be coming to YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, everything. If right now there's already crypto platforms that want you to build on them instead of YouTube and they pay you with crypto tokens, imagine. You can only guess the biggest opportunity ahead of us. And I know we're all here for the money. We're all here because we want to be rich. We want to be wealthy. And that's the goal, right? But some of us also want just a, another type of environment, a new economic identity, Web3 communities, projects, and building a brand. Because that's also when you ask some of the major Project founders like Charles Hoskinson, uh, Brad Garlinghouse, you ask Chris Marcellek, all of them want adoption. All of them, like they're looking into helping people. At the end of the day, helping people is why we're doing this, right? In a way of helping, we create opportunities and the, the crypto standard, the blockchain standard continues. So many people don't like us. Elizabeth Warren this week calling us funding terrorism in the Middle East, especially with what's going on right now in the war. So there's people who don't like and won't like us because they're part of the system. But you can only think about like if they're fighting you, it's because then soon you're going to win. That's what's happening with XRP, with Ripple. And it's a beautiful story. So everybody, prepare. This week is going to be important. We get a couple few good news about Bitcoin Spot ETF, approvals, news, breaking, whatever. That 30 has a big chance of passing 32. And on forward we go. I hope this video made sense to you and I just provided you with a different idea, standard, and perspective. Because I have it. I'm not rushing, panicking, FUD, whatever. I am so confident that uh, we're not making a mistake and it's just going to be beautiful. Because think about it. Once we are pumping, it's all going to be so easy. Everybody's going to be here. Not going to cost anything. But right now, we already survived and the worst is behind us. Onward. Peace.